You gave us a war tonight. Do you have more wars in you, or would this be it? Um, look, it's hard to say at this point of the moment, but I'll go home. Yeah, maybe I have to think about things, you know, with the way I cut. It's just, it's hard to continue the sport. I mean, when you want to step up for the big fights, you know, you need to be going there for a lot of rounds and, and you're really not trying to get hit. But, but um, you know, we'll just we'll see what the future holds, you know. My, my health is great, but unfortunately, the cuts is an issue. No. We see, I mean, oh, nice uppercut in the middle there. Right hand by Saucedo. understands the stakes. He's been in this game for 12 years. He's 30 years old. Oh, And he impressed. Oh, savage shot. Saucedo attacking that head left and right as Lenny Z comes back. Experience and guts from hurt and battered to now a left hook that has the undefeated hometown kid hurting badly. He better have up. A big right hand. Alex Saucedo stood up to it somehow. Can you believe this fight? And a cut on Saucedo's right eye as he takes and takes and tries to get more. This is his last shot to get there. To get that Squared tight. up, throwing punch after punch after punch. He's going for it. His last two fights, and this is a gruesome one above his right eye. There you go. Saucedo loves to fight that mid-distance range. You don't like to use his height. Guess what? Let me see. He knows that. And he stays there after every combination, doesn't move his head, and Lenny Z, an aggressive counterpuncher. So Saucedo landed a right hand that opened up the cut even worse on Lenny Z, and Lenny Z... So look for a jab. Lenny Z stepping right in with the overhand right. He changed set him up for that big overhand right that he landed around round ago. Good job by Salcedo, keeping it up at range, using that height. Got straight back, and Saucedo followed him with punches. Huge amount of swelling now under the left eye of Lenny. Outside! Saucedo is learning something about himself. The greatest thing he can do ever learn. He's being tested in the landing. Saucedo with that right hand. Lenny Z with that right hand. Pandejo in Spanish? Pandejo. Yes. Pandejo. Because it's, it's, it's no, no, you know, it's like okay. stupid. I'm going to fight Alex, man. I want to fight Alex. You know, and I'm hoping to unify. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping he fights for the world title and beats, beats Hooker. Man, I'm not afraid to lose, man. I don't, I don't know how many times I lost to the amateurs, man, but it was probably close to close to 10 or something. Out of 110 fights. Yeah, something so like that. I don't really care, man. You know, I already 
already did what my goal was to be, man, which is a seven-figure fighter. The dreams have come true. I have lived the American dream where I have struggled. I was raised in a single-parent household. You know what I'm saying? I was lucky to get one pair of shoes, you know, within a year. If, if I got two pairs, I was really happy. Wow. I never asked my mother for much. I didn't want to go into her pockets. I didn't want to ask her for everything. I remember when I was 14, 15 years old, I went and cut lawns so that I could make $200 so I can buy myself my own fresh outfit from head to toe you know I could spend a little bit of money on myself but I would never ask my mother for a $200 outfit I went out there and I earned it myself